Gainsborough's G-Series door furniture offers a range of contemporary and traditional styles in various finishes and rose designs. In this video, we will be showing you how to install a Gainsborough G3 Series internal passage lever. You'll require the following tools to complete your installation. Tape measure, pencil, 3mm drill bit, 6mm drill bit, 25mm spade bit, 35mm hole saw bit, drill, ruler, Phillips head screwdriver, chisels, and the provided Allen key. Step one, door preparation. For new installations, you'll need to prepare both the door and frame. To prepare the door, fold the installation template as marked and position the template on the face of the door at your desired height from the floor using masking tape. This is normally around 1.1 meters from the floor. However, you need to confirm the correct height for your particular door. This is because some doors have a hollow construction with one solid section known as a lock block where the lock should be installed. Make sure that the edge of the door is lined up with the dotted line on your template. Mark the center line of the latch hole using a pen or screwdriver. Then measure the door thickness and mark the center point for the latch hole. Now mark the center of the 35 mm hole on the face of the door as well as the two 6 mm fixing holes to either side. Remove the template and prepare to drill the holes. First, drill the two 6 mm fixing holes as marked on the template. Then drill your hole in the face of the door using the 35 mm hole saw bit. To avoid splintering, you should drill from both sides of the door. Now, using the 25 mm spade bit, drill your latch hole approximately 35 mm deep. However, if you're retrofitting Gainsborough door furniture to replace an existing lever or knob set, the process is much simpler. You should find that the fixing holes for your existing handles are the same as for the Gainsborough product. Once you remove your old handles from the door, follow the instructions from step one, door preparation, and fix the correct template to your door. This will show you whether the existing holes align with the template or whether you'll need to drill any additional holes as per the template in order to fit your new Gainsborough door furniture. The next steps are the same whether for a new fit or retrofit application. Step two, installation of latch. Insert the latch into the 25 mm hole on the edge of the door and mark the latch faceplate using your pencil. Now remove the latch and using your chisel create a recess of 2 mm. Reinsert the latch and pre-drill the holes for the latch screws using your 3 mm drill bit. Then fasten the latch with the wood screws provided. Step 3. Installation of G3 series lever. First, install the square drive spindle through the latch in the door with the grooves facing down. Next, identify which side of the door each lever will be located in order to allow both levers to move in a downward motion once installed. Remove the rosette covers from the lever assemblies. Then, using the Allen key provided, loosen the grub screws at the base of each lever by approximately three turns. Place one lever assembly onto the square drive spindle and then the other lever assembly on the other side of the door. Fasten both lever assemblies with the screws provided. Each under rose features a countersunk hole and a threaded hole, so you'll need to install one screw from each side. Once installed, tighten each screw manually. Now, using the Allen key, tighten the grub screws at the base of each lever. The last step is to replace the rosette covers by pushing the covers over the rubber rings until flush with the door. You should now test the product functions correctly by rotating the levers on each side of the door. The latch bolt should retract completely and be flush with the edge of the door. Step four, installation of strike. Now to install the strike, partially close the door so that the center point of the latch bolt can be marked on the door frame. Then mark a horizontal line along the inside face of the door jamb. From the door stop along the horizontal line, mark a vertical line at half the door thickness. This marks the point to drill. Using your 25 mm spade bit, drill a hole into the door jamb approximately 13 mm deep. Next, align the strike plate centrally and vertically over this hole and mark around the plate using your pencil. The next step is to chisel out a recess in the frame for the strike plate. This recess should be approximately one mil deep to allow the strike plate to sit flush. Finally, pre-drill the screw holes using the three millimeter drill bit, then secure the strike plate to the door jamb using the wood screws provided. 
Your new Gainsborough G-Series door furniture is now installed and ready to use. If you need any further assistance with installation of Gainsborough's G-Series door furniture, please call our customer service team on 131418. And for more information on the range of door hardware available from Gainsborough, visit us online at gainsboroughhardware.com.au.